Hi everyone. Today we will discuss about the IUPAC names of benzodiazepines. How we can give the name for the benzodiazepines? When we are going to see the IUPAC names of benzodiazepines, in few of the structures we can observe the point of saturation as indicated by 3H that is the indicated hydrogen and in few of the structures we can observe the 2H as the indicated hydrogen. So a lot of variability is there in the naming of benzodiazepines. And in this video, we will see where we can use the 3H as the indicator hydrogens and where we can use the 2H as the indicator hydrogens and how they are variable with the different types of structures of the benzodiazepines. So first of all, let us see the common structure of benzodiazepines. So benzodiazepines, the benzene ring is going to be fused with the seven membered ring system with two nitrogens. So diaza and epine. Epine indicates a seven membered ring system. So benzodiazepines are the 6 plus 7 member ring systems. Here where we have to start the numbering? We have to start the numbering from the atom which is adds to the bridged atoms. So bridged atoms are the atoms which are involved in the fusion. So we have to start the numbering from the atoms which are adds to the bridged heads. So we can start the numbering here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we should not give the numbering to the bridged heads. So this is 6, 7, 8, 9. In this way we can give the numbering to this uh, benzodiazepine ring system. Then what is the root name of this ring system? You can observe that nitrogen is present at the first position as well as the fourth position. So the root name of the ring system is the 1,4 benzodiazepine. But here you can observe at the third position a point of saturation which is naturally observed in this ring system. This can be indicated by indicated hydrogens. So here this is the 3H. So 3H indicates indicated hydrogen. And here you can observe that H is written in a italic letter in order to indicate that it is a point of saturation naturally observed in the structure. Now let us take one structure. So this is the chlorodiazepoxide, one of the first benzodiazepine that is going to be developed. Now what is the IUPAC name of this compound? So again if we give the numbering like this. Nitrogen is present at the first and fourth position. So the root name of this uh, ring system is the 1,4 benzodiazepine. But here we have to replace the E with a suffix because at the fourth position you can observe an oxygen is attached as an oxide. So this is 1,4 benzodiazepine 4 oxide. So that is the root name of this uh, compound along with the suffix. Now if we see the different groups attached at the various positions. At the second position, you can observe a group attached with a methyl amino. So it can be written as 2 methyl amino. Similarly, third position, it is saturated. So 3H. And fifth position, phenyl ring. So 5 phenyl. And seventh position, chloro. So 7 chloro. So in this way, we can give the names for the groups attached to the different positions. Then we have to arrange in the alphabetical order. So which comes first? So here 7-chloro starting with the C, it comes first, then 3-H, then 2-methyl uh, amino because it is starting with the letter M and finally 5-phenyl which is starting with the letter P. So this is the alphabetical order of uh, the various groups attached to this ring system. Now if we arrange these in the alphabetical order, so the name of this compound is 7-chloro, 3-H, 2 methyl amino, 5 phenyl, 1 4 benzodiazepine, 4 oxide. So, this is the name of the chlorodiazepoxide. But here we can also observe that the indicated hydrogens can be separated from the root name or they can be attached along with the root name. That means we can also write the 3H just before the 1 4 benzodiazepine term so that it is attached with the root name. So, this is the name of the chlorodiazepoxide. But if you see most of the benzodiazepines, they will not have any unsaturation at the first and second position, but they are having a saturation. And second position, they are also attached with a ketone group, which is actually essential for their activity. In such cases, we have to indicate the point of saturation by using the terms dihydro. So let us take one example here. So most of the benzodiazepines are having the common ring system like this. So again, if we give the numbering, the numbering is same. 
and you can observe the knight was present at the first position and as well as fourth position so the name of the ring system is 14 benjo dai jp but since they are having a ketone at the second position we have to give the suffix as 2 ohm so 14 benjo dai jp 2 ohm then how we can indicate the saturation because here first position is saturated second position is saturated as well as third position is saturated so how can we indicate this so simply we can indicate like 1 2 dihydro 3h that means first and second position are saturated and third position is uh, normally saturated otherwise we can also indicate this as 1 3 dihydro 2h that means first and third position are saturated second position is having again saturation with indicated hydrogen which is correct we can use any of these but iupac suggests that we have to give the least number to the indicated hydrogen so the first one which is having the 3h is not that much appropriate but the second one which is having the 2h is more accurate so in most of the iupac names we will observe 13 dihydro 2h as the points of saturations so now let us take one of the example this is the one of the structure well known this is a dizy palm what is iupac name of this dizy palm Again, this hang the numbering like this with first portion as well as fourth portion nitrogen. So this is the one four benzodiazepine and second portion ketone is there. So two one. So this is one four benzodiazepine two one. Then what are the groups attached at the different portions? First portion methyl group is there, and then the point of saturation is there at the first and third portion. So one three dihydro and fifth portion phenyl, seventh portion chloro. and second portion hydrogen 2h so here we have placed the indicated hydrogen just before the root name now which comes alphabetically first now if we arrange the alphabetical order so again 7 chloro is starting with the c then 13 dihydro then 1 methyl then 5 phenyl so this is the alphabetical order so if we arrange this in the alphabetical order we will get the name of this dizy palm as 7 chloro 13 dihydro 1 methyl 5 phenyl 2h 14 benzodiazepine 2 on so that is the complete name of the dizy palm now let us take another structure so this is the oxygy palm one of the change in the oxygy palm is that it is having a hydroxy group at the third position so again if we give the numbering then root name of this compound is 14 benzodiazepine 2 on and if we see the groups attached at the different portions third portion hydroxy first and third portion dihydro fifth portion phenyl and seventh portion chloro and uh, 2h is the indicated hydrogen so if we arrange the alphabetical order so this one chloro chloro is one then 13 dihydro is two hydroxy is the three and 5 phenyl is the four so if we arrange in the alphabetical order The name of this compound is seven chloro one three dihydro three hydroxy five phenyl two H one four benzodiazepine two on. Now let us see another structure. This is the Lorentzy palm. In the Lorentzy palm, again we can give the numbering like this, where nitrogen is present at the first and fourth position, but at the fifth position the phenyl group is having again a side chain as chlorine. So let us give the numbering to this phenyl group one two three. Four, five, and six. In this way, we can give the numbering to the side chain from the point of attachment. Now, the root name of this compound is one four benzodiazepine two one. So this should be prefixed with the two H as the indicated hydrogen. And if we see the groups attached at the different position, third position hydroxy, one three dihydro, fifth position two chlorophenyl, or two chlorophenyl, or two chlorophenyl group is there. Seventh position chloro. Then, if we arrange in the alphabetical order, then two chlorophenyl as the second one, one three dihydro as third one, and three hydroxy as the fourth one. So, if we arrange in the alphabetical order, so the name of this compound is seven chloro five dash two chlorophenyl one three dihydro three hydroxy two H one four benzodiazepine two O. So that is the name of Lorentzy palm. Now let us go with the Tamazgh palm. So again, the Tamazgh palm is having the same numbering. So root name is one four benzodiazepine two on. 
So here we have indicated that the 1,3 dihedro as well as 2H are going to be attached with the root name of this compound. In this way, we can either attach these terms like the dihedro and the indicated hydrogens along with the root name. Otherwise, we can also write them as a separate words. But in this example, we have shown that they are going to be attached with the root name. Now, if we see the side chains, first position methyl, third position hydroxy and fifth position phenyl, 7 chloro. So, already we have arranged this in alphabetical order. So, the name of this compound is 7 chloro, 3 hydroxy, 1 methyl, 5 phenyl, 1 3 dihydro, 2 H, 1 4 benzodiazepine, 2 O. So, Temzi pump is just like the oxygen pump with an extra methyl group at the first position. Next one is the halogen pump. So, root name is 1 4 benzodiazepine, 2 O. Point of saturations are 1 3 dihedro as well as 2 H, just like the previous example. Then, first position 2 2 2 trifluoroethyl. So, it's simply it's a ethyl group is there where the terminal hydrons of the ethyl group are replaced by fluorine groups. So, 1 dash 2 2 2 trifluoroethyl, then 5 phenyl and 7 chloro. That is the name of halogy palm. Next one is the fluorogy palm. So, again the root name 14 benzodiazepine 2 on which is prefixed with the 1 3 dihedro as well as 2 H. First portion, what is the group present? First portion, you can observe an ethyl group is present which is attached with the amine and this amine is again diethyl substituted. So, first portion 2 dash diethyl amino ethyl group is present. Fifth portion 2 fluorophenyl group is present and seventh portion chloro group is present. So, again, we have arranged in the alphabetical order. So, this is the name of the fluorazy palm. Next one is the nitrazy palm. Nitrazy palm is having a nitro group at the seventh position. So, again, the root name is 14 benzodiazepine 2 on, which is prefixed with the 1 3 dihedro as well as 2 H. But at the fifth position, you can observe a phenyl group, and seventh position, nitro group is present. So, that is the name of the nitrazy palm. Next one is the clonazy palm. So again, it is having the root name 14 benzodiazepine 2 on 1 3 dihedro and 2 H are the prefixes. Then at the fifth portion, it is having the 2 chlorophenyl group and seventh portion nitro group is present. But here the chlorophenyl is starting with the letter C, so it comes alphabetically first, then the nitro group. So that is the name of the clonazy palm. In this way, we can write the IUPAC names of the benzodiazepines where we can indicate the point of saturations by the terms like the dihedro as well as the indicated hydrogens. But always we have to give the least number to the indicated hydrogens. So we are going to use the 1,3 dihedro 2H as the point of saturations. And they can be used as a separate words or they can be attached with the root name of the compound. So both are allowed by the IUPAC nomenclature. But it is always preferred that these terms are attached with the root name of the compound. So that's about this uh, IUPAC names of benzodiazepines. Thank you for watching this video.